Good morning and welcome again to Renfrew North Church for our uh, weekly reflections. Behind me you'll see the pulpit area and window, a reminder of uh, what it's like inside this building in which we've not been able to worship for a number of weeks now. I wonder what it is that you would like to do or to see when lockdown finishes. Perhaps you would like to see family and friends. Perhaps you would like to go out for a, an extended walk, maybe out into the countryside, or maybe you'd like to go to the beach. The inhabitants of Whitley Bay took their daily exercise on their nearest beach. And through the course of the last few weeks, each time they've visited the beach, they have put a stone or a pebble on one of the creations that is being made. There are loads of pebble stacks or stone stacks or created pieces across the beach. And every time someone walks on the beach, they put yet another stone onto the, the creation. In this way, everyone is taking part in creating something that's very unusual and certainly uh, wasn't there before the lockdown started. Stones to create things. Stones and bricks to create buildings. Peter, in his first letter, put it slightly differently. He said this, As you come to him, the living stone, rejected by men but chosen by God and precious to him, you also, like living stones, are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. What Peter is reminding us there is that we all have our part to play in the creation of the building of the Church of Jesus Christ. But instead of the bricks and stones that are used to create inanimate buildings, we are the living stones that God uses to create the living, vibrant building of the Church of Jesus Christ. And in the same way that every single stone and brick is necessary in the creation and standing of this building, in the same way, every living stone that is a part of the community of Renfrew North Church is a component part, an essential part, a necessary part to create a vibrant living community. And we all, all have our part to play. We all have gifts and talents and skills that are used to create this wonderful, worshipping, vibrant living community that is known as Renfrew North Church. There are many ways in which we can exercise our gifts and our talents, but there's also something that we can all do. And it's something I talk about each week, and that is our call to prayer, to pray for each other, to pray for the situation in our nation, to pray for family and friends, to pray for those who have lost loved ones through this time. And so I would still continue to urge you to pray. Join again as we all join together, churches together throughout Scotland, praying at seven o'clock this evening. I pray that you will continue to pray. Continue, continue to think of the other members of the living community here and to continue to play your part. Goodbye. God bless.